Welcome to Olympitech, making Discord servers hassle-free. Smoogle Translate, part one. This is the first video in a series of three. First video, we're gonna be going over the introduction, how to invite the bot, how to do single translations, how to do auto translations. Second video, we'll be going over how to activate and use the premium commands and the third video will go over how to set up large complex translational matrices. First off, let's invite the bot to our server. So we're going to head over to smoogle.gg but you can also find smoogle translate on top.gg if you search for it. I will put both links in the description below. Here is smoogle.gg As you can see straight away, we have quite a bit of information there. We've got our language codes, our full command list, frequently asked questions as well. But what we're interested in right now is this little button up here, invite. So if we select that, make sure you have at least administrator access in the server that you're inviting this to, otherwise you won't be able to set anything up. So I'm going to use Smoogle Tutorial as I own this one and it says here straight away that you need send messages and embed links permission this is because when you invite the bot it will create a role of its own called Smoogle Translate which you can use throughout your setup so we select authorize and say that we're not a bot and then we go back and have a look at the server and we can see Smoogle Translate has now appeared we can immediately test this if we type tr help which is one of the commands you'll find back on the support page to bring up the command list we have a response so we know it's now in that channel and it's working I'm going to jump back over to smoogle.gg for a moment if we have a look at the full command list page we can see that we have translating a message into a language we have TR auto we have TR auto status turning off auto TR codes we have everything that you need to get you up and running if we run a few of these commands straight away in our server for example there we go we can see a message is being translated into French there is the standard 2000 character limit from Discord itself. So if the message you're sending into Smoogle to translate, all the, the size of the message coming back out from Smoogle exceeds 2000 characters, it, it just won't show. It won't work. So if we wanted to see which languages we could use to translate into, we could use TR codes. There we go. As for example, I'm just going to try Hindi. There we are. So it works. Now I'm just going to show you this role I mentioned earlier. When it joined, it created this role. This role is automatically managed by an integration. It cannot be manually assigned to members or deleted. So this is basically solely for the bot. So in here, it has send messages and it has embed links. Now, if you're going to use this role when adding to channels or categories as you're managing your system, you also need it to be able to read text. So what I recommend doing is making sure that on the channels you want or on the categories you want, you enable read messages as well. But this is what it needs as default. If we create a new channel, and how this works is a little odd it might not work straight off the bat if we um, take out the send messages and embed links permission off of everyone Smoogle Translate stays and it can still embed
Oh, it would actually help if I saved it. Now it doesn't work. So, if you have a channel that's locked down and you want it to work, you could always just go in and assign the role for it. Make sure it has read, send, and embed. Wrong channel. There we go. We can see it's working again now. So let's just take a, a standard message. Hello there. I have the high ground. I don't know why Star Wars just popped into my head. Here is our message. Now if other people want to use this, as you can see I've already got a auto command in there already. But if other people just want to take a random message and translate it, they could use the flag of the country um, that they're in or that they want to translate it to because you could do it for other people as well. So if we select the message and go to add reaction and type flag, we find them all. Let's just use BV. I'm not even sure which BV is. BV is nothing, apparently. Let's try another one. Finland. There we are. We have a message. Now, as you saw before, I had that auto translation in place. As you can see, I'm translating to French server wide. I don't want that. So we've turned it off. Let's say I wanted to translate to Finnish all the time. It would just be TR auto FI. There we are. Then everything I say gets translated into the language of my choice. Although it's still going to French for some reason. It does take a couple of seconds for changes to filter through the bot into the database, but usually only a couple of seconds. So there we are, we have how to translate a single message, how to use the flag reactions, the nuances of the permissions and how to use the role effectively, and how to do an automatic translation. That's all folks, thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time.